Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Leading cryptocurrency derivatives exchange launching XRP swaps. Uh, this was actually interesting, and I had to look up, I'll be honest with you, because I'm not going to pretend to be a know-it-all, I just simply don't know everything, but I, I, I do love to learn um, as I come across things in the world of crypto that I'm just not familiar with, and in this case, what they're talking about is uh, swaps that, really, they, they exist in other asset classes, this, this is not new stuff, it's just, with crypto being new, the concepts and practices that are applied to other asset classes are now being applied to crypto, and I'm still learning about that, so I'd like to share with you all, um, as I go along this journey, and I think that I can put this in terms that will be uh, easily understandable, so I'm going to run through that, I've also got an article from uh, crypto media outlet You Today, titled, Ripple is one of the disruptors in blockchain gaming, according to SBI Investment Korea. And uh, here's another fun article. Take a look at this. Coinbase set to pass $8.4 billion uh, in Bitcoin milestone, outperforming all cryptocurrency exchanges with highest amount of Bitcoin. Now, even with the, with this being an XRP-centric channel, of course, this is still fascinating, and I just thought I'd share it with you. I thought it was newsworthy. But anyway, before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP, and you want to know what the hell this XRP swap stuff is, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. All right, cryptocurrency and derivatives trading platform BitMEX is set to launch the XRP US dollar uh, Quanto swap. And so right there, I was already like, uh, what, uh, what the hell's a Quanto swap? And I think I'll just jump into this. I just went to Investopedia because I was not familiar with this term. I don't come from a background uh, career-wise that would have uh, made it reasonable for me to uh, you know, know something like this. I, I think the average person probably is completely unfamiliar. So, uh, so what is a Quanto swap? A Quanto swap is a cash-settled cross-currency interest rate swap where one of the counterparties pays a forward interest rate to the other. The notional amount is denominated in the domestic currency. Interest rates may be fixed or floating. Now, because they depend on the currency exchange rate and differences in interest rates in those currencies, they are also known as differential, rate differential, or just diff swaps. Another name for these swaps could be uh, also be guaranteed exchange rate swap because they naturally embed a fixed currency exchange rate in the swap contract. So, so what, why would you use a quanto swap? And I think this next part is going to make it clear in case that was too much jibber jabber and it didn't make a whole lot of sense. I think think this will bring it home. So why use quanto swaps? Investors will use quanto swaps when they believe that a particular asset will do well in a country, but at the same time, fear that the country's currency will not perform as well. Thus, the investor will swap the interest rate with another investor while keeping the payout in their home currency. And so in this way, they can separate interest rate risk from exchange rate risk, which are two different things. So if you're concerned about the interest rate, there you go. So that's why they'd swap it out in that capacity. And now we know. All right, so back to the original piece now. The quanto swap derivative allows traders to speculate on the price of XRP slash USD without having to deposit US dollars, while the price of XRP will be tracked using USD. A third foreign currency will be used to settle the contract at a particular interest rate. And now we know why. It's, it's um, as they cited there, it's because you know the exchange rate versus the interest straight for that currency there could be a, 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 a you might you may not want that exposure so that's the purpose of this anyway in a blog post the exchange has announced that the new derivative will be launched on february 5th 2020 uh, in addition bitmex says it's scrapping its up and down contracts for xrp which give traders a way to bet on the potential upside and downside of the third largest cryptocurrency uh, january has been a big month for xrp derivatives at the start of the new year, Binance Futures launched perpetual futures contracts for XRP, which are tradable against the stablecoin Tether, USDT, and it gives speculators up to 75x leverage. Um, in its fourth quarter XRP markets report, Ripple says crypto derivatives are an important step in the maturity of the uh, of the markets. And here's a quote from that report. XRP derivatives may further develop in 2020 amid a continuous general crypto derivative boom that is set to outpace spot volume by multiples. Uh, moreover, 
XRP derivatives are a potentially important tool in order to manage exposures and transactions through Ripple's cross-border payment solutions where XRP is leveraged. And so that was my initial thought. Even before I finished reading this article the first time when I was mapping out the videos I was going to put out today, earlier this afternoon, (coughs) excuse me, in, in reading just the beginning part of this, I thought this is cool because even though it doesn't necessarily immediately have some sort of meaningful impact in terms of XRP price action, I think that the, the maturation of the entire asset class is significant because as that occurs, we will we'll get to a point ultimately where uh, cryptocurrencies will rise and fall based on their own merit and their own actual real world adoption and utility. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, next from uh, you today. Ripple is one of disruptors in blockchain gaming, according to SBI Investment Korea. Uh, Ripple is one of the companies that is driving the adoption of blockchain in gaming, according to SBI Investment Korea Director Lee Ju Hyuk. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Eh. I never know with four names. I just want to call everybody John. That would make this a lot easier. He alluded to the $100 million fund that was formed by Ripple's investment arm Spring and gaming startup Forte back in March 2019. His comments came after Supertree, uh, one of the leading companies in blockchain gaming, raked in 3 billion won, which is about 62.7 million U.S. dollars. Uh, With freshly injected capital, Supertree will continue to develop its gaming platform, Playdap, and buy intellectual property, IP, uh, rights for some popular games. Now, Supertree uses meta blockchain technology in order to decentralize gaming. Uh, the company is helmed by industry veteran Sung Won Cho, uh, who revolutionized the South Korean gaming scene and other high-profile executives. And so, uh, to take a look at this part, though. Let me jump down a little bit here. Uh, despite more money pouring into gaming dApps, they continue to see relatively lukewarm consumer demand. Crypto Kitties, one of the only blockchain games that managed to uh, generate some buzz, is uh, pretty much a fad right now. And uh, how many of you remember Crypto Kitties? I remember that in the uh, that was in the crazy during the bull run of uh, it was probably late 2017. It could have been 2018. It's been so long ago. I'm not completely sure, but I remember that huge run up. Crypto Kitties was launched, and it basically crashed the Ethereum blockchain because of all the volume from Crypto Kitties, which was kind of comical. But uh, <laughs> Crypto Kitties crashing. There, I was like, so wait, there's something that's called Crypto Kitties, and it made Ethereum stop functioning. Okay, cool. Good, good times. Good times. All right. All right. Uh, you, you tried Ethereum, you know. But uh, as, as far as blockchain and, and gaming, uh, it is true. It's, it's fascinating. Look, I'm, I'm glad that uh, there's all sorts of efforts being made to, to get further into the space. It's fine. But uh, we must admit and acknowledge that uh, there is no entity that's had uh, tremendous strides in terms of success. But I, I think that there is potentially real opportunity there. And I've talked about that in other videos, and I don't want to delve too much into it, but just... Um, you know, the, the, the way it's think about digital in, in video games, just digital assets that that you can that actually have value. Because I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but I th- I'm going from memory. I think that uh, the market for dig- sale of digital assets for in video games, I think it's like fifty billion dollars a year. So th- there's there's some money there. And so, you know, is, is there some way in which XRP can be a part of that? Well, that would be awesome. We shall see. All right, uh, next. Coinbase set to pass $8.4 billion Bitcoin milestone, outperforming all cryptocurrency exchanges with highest amount of Bitcoin. Man, these guys aren't messing around, huh? Cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is set to reach a new milestone. It's about to hold one million Bitcoin valued at $8.4 billion, according to new analysis by blockchain data platform Longcash. Now, can you imagine being Coinbase? Think about this. you got to really have some grit because just, just in terms of the volatility, think you've got that much money in, in this whole Bitcoin thing, and you make your money on the buying and selling of, of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Fine. But can, can you imagine holding that much and then just seeing uh, you know the tremendous volatility? Just think of what happened um, you know, in 2018, you know, well, really, if you go, actually go back to December 2017, Bitcoin almost at $20,000. Fast forward a year later, and it's down to $3,000. Oh, mama. <laughs> that, 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 that would be something, uh, to it, you know, just to be in, in charge. Of that. But I think that they have the, a, a proper long-term outlook, which is not emotion-based. So th- there you go. Not that it necessarily a Bitcoin will have tremendous staying power. I'm still not completely convinced of that. But uh, the, the asset class most certainly will. 
But anyway, uh, Long Cash, which tracks on-chain asset transfers, reports that as Coinbase has increased its dominance in the market, several major exchanges, including Binance, Bitfinex, Bittrex, Bitstamp, Kraken, and Coincheck, have shown little change in their 2019 holdings. And here's a quote now. Coinbase has by far the highest amount of Bitcoin of all crypto exchanges, and its holdings grew substantially over the past year. Moreover, that growth was relatively steady, apparently unaffected by the up and downs in prices. It is set to exceed the $1 million threshold very soon. So anyway, cool stuff. I thought it was newsworthy, so I decided to share it with you. But that is it for this video. Time to wrap things up here. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.